Oh, oh my God, I got a good fish. Oh my God, oh my God, this is a good fish. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. Thank you so much for clicking on this episode. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm back at the beautiful James River at uh, Richmond, Virginia, my home. So this river has been flooded for the past two weeks straight and it's still a little flooded, but uh, I've been wanting to fish it for like two weeks straight. So here I am uh, trying to get it done. Hopefully I'll catch something. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna fish with, but uh, you know, we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, so thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, I'm gonna start off with something that's been killing it for me lately, and that's inline spinners. This one is one I haven't used yet. It's kind of a green and silver. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a small little green sunfish or a minnow or whatever, but we're gonna try it. See if I can catch any smallmouth bass, largemouth bass or whatever. There are giants in here. I saw a humongous carp last time I was here, which makes me believe that there could be huge other species in here too. This is a pretty calm part of the river. There's rapids all around there and then all the way down there. But here's a relatively calm spot. So we're gonna try here. Oh, oh my God, I got a good fish. Oh my God, oh my God, this is a good fish. Get out of the crap, get out of the crap. Oh, this is a good catfish, oh my God, oh my God. I need, oh my God, that's a great catfish. I need to get down there. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Oh my goodness. Come here, you son of a bitch. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my God. Oh, dudes. Look at this. Holy guacamole, guys. Oh my, let me get my grippers. Stop, stop, stop squirming, stop. Oh my gosh, there we go, guys, holy crap. This might be my personal best channel right here. Hear him croaking? I hear you, buddy, I hear you. I hear you, buddy, I hear you. Oh, you're pooping a lot too, aren't you? <laughs> Treble hooks and catfish do not mix, oh my god. There we go, got him out. Holy moly, guys, look at this guy. Let's get a scale. Where's my scale? It's in my pocket, thank God. I remembered it this time. Zero it out. Stop squirming, little buddy. Stop squirming. Two point, two point two seven. all right. Hot dang. I'm just gonna call it, that's my PB channel. That is awesome. That is awesome, guys. It's a channel catfish. Oh, okay, good, I saw the pointy nose, I thought it was a dog. This is a handle to hold it with. Yeah. Thank you. Look at this, guys, wow, he's long. Wow. Can I even get that in frame? <laughs> Not really. All right, hopefully I'm in frame. Look at this, guys. I mean, he's not a huge Chanel catfish, but he's big enough, you know what I mean? Wow, and that was like my fourth cast, too. This is great, this is awesome. I'm glad I came over here. All right, I've had him out for like a few minutes. Let's see if we can get him back in there. Oh, man. Uh. Wow, you made me very happy today, fella. Wrong way.
Nice, guys. Wow. You got this, buddy. You got it. Holy moly, guys. Wow, guys, seriously, that was, uh, that was something else. Uh, if I don't catch anything else, I'm happy, because that was awesome. Whew. And that was, like, the third or fourth cast, I swear to God. Six-pound test line, I was able to land him, thankfully. I wasn't expecting anything that big at all. I was expecting, like, you know, maybe, maybe a, a pound bass, pound smallmouth, uh, maybe a pound catfish. Hot dang. Feels good, guys. <laughs> Right, let's get back to fishing. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, if I lose it, at least it got me my PB channel, right? You served your purpose. All right, let's go for it. Probably gonna snap off. Oh, maybe not. What? Oh, I got the whole thing back. Heck yeah. Solid work, Tyler. I got two other poles here. What do I have on them? Aha. I have a Topwater Ozark Trail popper. Or not popper, plopper, I should say. They only cost like five bucks each, as opposed to like the regular Whopper ploppers, which are like, which are like 13 to $17 ish. It's relatively calm over here, so maybe there's some biggins over here that might want to try to try to munch on this dude. It's in like a, I guess a bass pattern, I guess. I don't know. All right, well, let's try it. Definitely cast farther than the inline spinner. Of course it does. It's, <laughs> it weighs so much more, Tyler. Of course, of course it does, jeez. Oh my God, do you guys see that gar right there? Oh my God. That was a spotted gar, I believe. It was like three feet long, at least, and it was following the plopper. Oh my god, I may have spooked it when it saw me. Oh my god, dude. I've never caught a gar. That would have been my first. Oh my gosh. Okay, calm down, Tyler, calm down. Okay, I'm going to spare you a lot of hours of footage um, because I didn't catch any more fish today. <laughs> I'm still gonna make a video out of it because I caught a PB, so there you go. So yeah, let's recap. Uh, got my PB channel catfish off of an inline spinner, which has been killing it for me the past few weeks, as you guys uh, have been watching. And I got a spotted guard to almost bite at my Ozark Trail plopper. But yeah, that was uh, pretty exciting. But then after that, it just went downhill. I didn't catch anything, tried multiple spots, tried multiple lures, I lost a lot of lures. And it's unfortunate, man. But you know, it is what it is, and that's how fishing goes. I hope you enjoyed the video regardless, and uh, peace out, guys.